a request to the universe, a shift in abundance is necessary. Last evening there was a significant shift in energies, and one that led me to making some demands of the universe on behalf of the collective consciousness. Perhaps a merging of the masculine and feminine energies is underway, but for sure something shifted. So here goes. Dear Universe. There are many of us light workers who are in very uncomfortable positions at the moment, I do not speak of future or past, I speak of here and now, at this very moment. It is the truth of so many, including myself, and yet we continue to do the necessary work within ourselves, and the collective consciousness. We have fought many a battle before. The most important to reach a place of being, we have discovered our true authentic self. We do not complain or lower our vibrations, we simply soldier on in love. Among us there are many who really do not have the means to provide for themselves or their families on a day-by-day -day basis. Yet we continue to have faith in all that we are. We observe others who are intent on causing chaos on the planet. We observe others who continue to manipulate and prosper in their own worlds. We observe others who really have no concern for the ongoing survival of this planet. We observe others who quite happily take advantage of the few. We observe others who exercise their control and power through propaganda and laws. Yet we, the few, continue to have faith in all that we are and will ever be, for we are love. We continue to share our unconditional love with our fellow man. We continue to help and guide others so that they too may see what we see. We continue to stand up against the others who are determined to spread illusions. Today, us few, are struggling to survive, yet we make do with what we have. This is what you, dear universe, have shown us is the way forward, in love and compassion. In peace and harmony, with a common voice and determination to change the dynamics. That are presented on a daily basis. We are being, because we are love. We continue to appreciate all that you have shown and provided for us, yet we sit here barely surviving. Many of us face dilemmas on a daily basis, yet we continue to hold faith in all that we are, that all is well, and the path we are going is meant to be this way. We have detached ourselves from all expectations and possible outcomes, and here we are today. We bear witness to the struggle of the billions who have no basic means of survival. They have no water, electricity, or food to nourish themselves. Today, for the record, there are many light workers who too are in the same position, as I, the creator of this message. Stand before you, in my full vulnerability request that you help us to shift the flow of abundance to one and all. We are at the stage of being barely able to survive within the framework today. It is true the rich get richer, and the poor get poorer. It is this imbalance that needs to change. So I request of you, the universe, and the collective consciousness, to help all of us light workers. We have done a tremendous job of clearing so many aspects of our existence. We have vigorously protected the one essence that is of more value than all the gold on this planet, love, throughout our journeys we have endured so many things and situations, that only our belief and faith in the love that exists within is the way forward. We have had the love beaten from us, yet somehow, throughout all of this, we have discovered the love remains within. We have carefully and meticulously examined every nook and cranny of our lives, and that of others, to reignite that eternal flame. Yes, we are the front runners, the trailblazers, the twin flames, the advanced souls. Yes we have dedicated our life to revealing the violet flame that exists within each of us. As front runners, we have sent a message to humanity that now is the time to wake up and enjoy the ever-present. Love within. We are the catalysts for change, and we believe wholeheartedly in our own missions and path. We are love. We are proud to be love. We have nothing to hide. Today, I humbly request that you shift the dynamics of abundance to those that are leading the way forward. It is time for this shift. We have endured and worked hard, and we are worthy of everything. We have demonstrated our commitment to a common cause and goal, of sharing unconditional love to humanity. We have an understanding and will always carry the wisdom to effect the changes necessary. We are rich with love, yet we live in a world that requires more than that for us to survive and prosper now is the time that we all come together. The challenges we face are now very clear to see. 
it is our duty and responsibility to continue this transformation of Gaia. This is what you, the universe, asked of us and what we agreed or volunteered to do. We made a deal, together, that this is our task and role today. I ask that you now to provide us with the necessary financial abundance so that we may effectively begin to live our true life path. I ask you to unite each and every one of us, especially those souls that are predestined to be in union during this incarnation. Unite us one and all so that the pure love essence be spread amongst those that cannot see or feel it, we are ready, we are prepared, we are willing and we are now more than able. I ask you to trust us completely to continue this quest, so that we may once again prosper, as we were meant to. It is time for the flow of financial abundance to come to us all, because we all are worthy of it. To survive is one thing, but now it is time for us to live all that we know to be true. Thank you for all that you provide us on a daily basis, we are truly grateful. Please trust us, and provide for us the necessary abundance needed to continue our work. There is no need to break us again, we have learned our lessons necessary. We accept full responsibility for humanity, and kindly ask you to reward us in a way that we can now live in our true capacity. Allow us to reach the hearts and souls of the billions on this planet. Allow us to light the lives of the three billion who live without power and water daily. Allow us to teach all there is about unconditional love, and allow us to share it freely among us all.